For you. Let me behave myself, yeah? People are gonna be listening to all these saucy ass tunes And then when it comes to December and January now People are gonna be popping up, pity them! What's good everyone? Welcome back to my channel It's your girl Mrs and I'm back with another video Yes, you're gonna be seeing the same outfit, the same raggedy raggedy jumper The same hairdo and whatnot Pretty much at the end of the video because I am filming two videos in one hit If that makes sense because it's quarantine I need to get back into business and I ain't got nothing else to do, so why not? But as you can see by the title, I'm going to be trying out or testing out the new Revolution Pro Sculpting, Sculpting, Sculpting Bronzer. So, without further ado, if you want to see my personal opinions and a demo and swatches, make sure you stay tuned and keep watching. Obviously, this is the time right now that no one's not really gonna be like spending a lot of money on new makeup which is understandable revolution is one of those brands that is easy access it's uk based and they're affordable not everything i like from them but majority of the stuff i like from them i thought why not to film this for you guys and get some content out there and whatnot and whatnot and whatnot so they have come out with these new bronzers which i was like hallelujah because every single time i look for bronzers in revolution they don't run dark enough and it's like sis um I'm melanin in that hair like hello like they will probably go up to like a medium dark but not like a dark or deep dark so when I saw these new bronzers I was like thank gold they've got these new revolution pro sculpting bronzers that retails for nine pounds they have five shades pretty much just specifies that it's a summer glow sculpting bronzer intensely pigmented bronzer for perfect sculpting and bronzing creamy silk formula infused with moisturizing cocoa extract i really do like that these makeup brands are pretty much adding skincare properties in their products which is good shouldn't cling on dry patches melt seamlessly in the skin easy to blend buildable target to sculpt and contour and it is basically a matte formula i've got the shade enrolled I picked up Emerald and Mocha, which I do have, but looking from the seal, from the outside of the packaging, I know Mocha is gonna be way too dark for me. So I'm gonna use Enrobe instead, which is medium to dark skin tone. So this is what the packaging looks like. So square, compact, mirrored rose gold color, and it's got like this snake feature at the front, and it's got a nice size mirror, which again, bends all the way back like so. And this is what the bronzer looks like. So this bronzer literally looks like exactly like the Fenty Beauty Mokomami is literally my favorite go-to bronzer which looks like this I am surprised I have not hit pan on this bad boy so when I compare the two call me crazy but I feel they look very very similar like even the undertones like that sort of warm reddish undertone it has looks very very similar so I don't know if I should do like a comparison now this is what the bronzers look like. Now, I've pretty much really got my base. So I've got my foundation, my powder, and all that goodness. I think on this side, I'm gonna do the Revolution, and this side, I'm going to do the Fenty. Now, I'm just gonna do some quick swatches so we can get a good side-by-side -side up in this bad boy. Let me just wipe my hand, you know. Hmm. Right, okay. Actually, now swatching them, they look very different. Shame, they look very different. So that's the Fenty one, and that's the Revolution one. Revolution one is slightly darker. I will say that it still has the same undertone. So let's do the Fenty first, because I pretty much know how Fenty works anyway. I'm not gonna get the best brush, because I know how it performs anyway. So you can probably see it straight away. Listen, don't mind my wigs, okay? Just don't mind. I'm having some hair crisis right now as well, guys. Okay, so that is the side of the Fenty. That is obviously my bare face. It looks like I've got a shadow on my face, but it's really not. It's just the way my face is. But that is the Fenty side there. Okay, so now onto the Revolution one. There's actually not much fallout as well, which is good. Um, ooh, that is nice. <gasps> I like that. Do you not see that? Look how bright. Excuse me? 
okay, I am going a little bit ham, I'm not gonna lie. But that's the thing when you film things on camera, you have to do the up moles and apply so much that you guys can actually see it. But that is beautiful. I really, really like that. Very nice. Contour or bronze my nose, I guess. Yeah, you can definitely see that now. <laughs> Sculpting. <laughs> Base with a damp sponge just to soak it in so it doesn't look too harsh and whatnot. So this is what my face looks like after it is bronze, giving me some shadow, a bronzing. I am pretty much just going to apply the rest of my makeup because I am testing something else out as well, which might have already gone up before this video. So I'm gonna come back a little bit later and then just give you guys the, my final verdict of this product. Yes, Missy. Okay. My child just doesn't stop eating. All she wants to do is to eat, 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 eat. I'm like, girl, can you stop? What's good, everyone? I am back in the building. Well, I haven't left the building, so, you know. But I am back on camera, ready to give you guys my final verdict of the bronzer. Where is the bronzer? Here it is. Please excuse my hair. I tried to do a quick fix with one of my stale-ass wigs, okay? I cut it. I tried to do the wet look. It's not even. I'm going to go over it later, okay? Just don't come for me about my hair. Just try to do a little bit of ting at here but anyway so this is pretty much what my face looks like love it okay let me just pull it out there with all the energy inside of me love it i love how my face looks it's just got that nice natural bronze sun kissed look love it like give me if my face can look like this all the time honestly no one can tell me nothing you know let me try to tell you that for free i think for me the only thing that comes to bronzers that could be a miss if it's not my shade wrong undertone and if it's too too shimmery so with this saying that I don't have a problem with that with this product at all this is the right shade for me i love the undertone it's not shimmery and i think it's just a really nice beautiful bronzer inexpensive as well love the packaging comes with a mirror travel size friendly i cannot complain i just i am just so happy that it's about time that revolution has brought out a bronzer that i can use because when i'm telling you for free yeah every single okay maybe not every single day but every other launch i'm really hoping and expecting bronzers to be launched for darker skin complexions and the fact that they have this shade a shade lighter and also a darker shade that just that just made the girl happy like sis i was like come through those that actually want to get the fenty beauty one um that and is a little bit too expensive because i think this product is about 20 pounds i can't remember this retails for what nine pounds and i'm sorry but as much as i swatch them on my hand and you can definitely see a difference on my face i don't think you can see a difference i think it looks exactly the same like that's how i personally feel anyway so i'm really really happy that revolution's got this this might be another favorite of mine now Shh, money but don't get me wrong i'm still gonna love my bad bad really yeah out here okay that is the end of the video guys i hope you really enjoyed this and i hope it was really useful and helpful if it was make sure you give it a thumbs up because that really helps me out a lot leave a comment in the section below let me know do you think it's a good dupe to the fenty do you like do you not like tell me why you don't like if you don't like leave a comment below and let's all talk and engage because we ain't got nothing else to do okay we ain't got nothing else to do. We're on lockdown, so boy, it is what it is. Make sure you do subscribe on your way out. Make sure you do join the Sidas crew. Follow me on Instagram, and I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye!